How's it going you guys? New Age here with a huge sun and moon update from E3. Uh, they released some gameplay footage along with like new Pokemon and some other things. I know I'm a little late to the news just because of work and stuff. I haven't been able to make a video about it. But I figure, hey, even if I'm late, it'll be nice to put in my two cents. And I have not watched the actual like trailer, what they released. So we can do that together right now and see what it's all about and talk about it afterwards and all that good stuff. So without further ado, I've been waiting long enough. Let's check it out right now and see, uh, see what's good with this trailer. New Pokemon Discover, right? <laughs> Pick a peck. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Ability, key and eye or skill like I like that they're showing the abilities. Young Goose? Oh my gosh. Abilities stakeout and strong jaw. Yo, that thing looks psychotic. And grubbin. I <laughs> Oh it's so tiny. I love the names of these Pokemon. They're all really cool. Oh that's cool. Ooh, the animations are nice. Mythical Pokemon, Magyarna, Ability Soul Heart, right? Whoa! Is that how they get sent out? That looks so cool! Ooh, and how they come back in? Whoa, what? Oh my gosh, that thing is gone. Wow, the battle graphics look like amazing in these. And a new battle mode. <laughs> Battle Royale! <laughs> I heard about this. Four player free for all. Is that the stage too? That looks crazy. That's insane. I didn't think they would actually make this a thing. There's so much going on. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Okay, so they just hit us with like a ton of information right here, and I love it. So that was the video, and then they have stuff uh, for us to read over as well. So, uh, new Pokemon called a Young Goose. <laughs> that name is hilarious. It's always hungry and can be found in Route 1. Normal type with the ability Stakeout slash Strong Jaw. So there is another new ability along with the new Pokemon. Young Goose looks kind of amazing. I love it. I wonder if it's just going to be like a big Champa kind of deal when it evolves. And then we finally got from the very first Sun and Moon uh, like teaser thing, the bird, Pick a Peck. Uh, people were saying it's Talonflame or what's it called? Oh my gosh, Fletchling. It obviously was not Fletchling. And now, even more so obvious. Normal flying type, gonna be the normal flying type of the region, has keen eye and skill link. Yo, I didn't even realize that when it said that. Skill link, that's pretty cool. I mean, it depends on what it gets. I could think of, uh, like Fury Attack? Yeah. <laughs> Always hit five times, and it has two evolutions. Sweet. So it's not going to be like a knocked owl situation. I don't think we've had that in a really long time though. It's always been like three evolutions other than knocked owl. Poplio can now learn disarming voice. I don't know where they're getting this information. But if Poplio can learn disarming voice, that's really interesting. Because people were talking about Poplio being part fairy. Um, which might lend to Litten being part dark. But I don't know, it's it's weird because if Rowlet is like flying, it doesn't it doesn't make sense like completing the circle kind of thing, you know? So I don't know I don't know what they're doing with uh if they are gonna make it a fairy type, which it looks like it could be, that would be cool. Alright, let's see. Uh new battle mode called Battle Royale, where four players with three Pokemon each sending out one at a time. It's a free-for-all battle, but when the first trainer loses all their Pokemon, the game ends and players are tallied up by defeated Pokemon and remaining Pokemon, and that determines the winner. So even if all your Pokemon, well, yeah. So even if all your Pokemon go down first, if you still manage to kill more than all the other Pokemon, then, or than all the other people, you could still win. Uh, but that is going to be awesome to have another uh, battle mode. 
So that'll be cool to like put that on the channel and stuff. Okay, okay. So let's see. Stakeouts. Oh, there we go. Stakeouts effect. The ability means that the Pokemon's moves can deal twice the normal damage to any Pokemon that switches in or enters the field mid battle. So, if you use a move, dang, that's kind of, man, they're making some really competitive abilities. So, stakeout is if you have a Pokemon out and you switch it, then the Pokemon that has the stakeout ability, if it attacks that switched Pokemon, its attack will do double the damage. That's insane. That's really sketchy. That makes you, like, not want to switch out, either. Dang, that's scary. They're making some scary stuff coming with these new Pokemon. So there's Stakeout. Uh-huh. And Soul Heart. Alright, yeah. What the hell was that about? Soul Heart's effect this ability raises Magyarna's special attack by one each time another Pokemon in the area faints. Damn. So it's like... Yo, they finally did it. They finally made a special Moxie. But it's even better than, uh... It's actually even better than Moxie because with Moxie, you have to be the one to defeat the Pokemon to get the Moxie boost. But with Soul Heart, you don't have to be the one. It can just, like... You can send Magyarna out on, like, a Pokemon that's gonna die to poison or, like, I don't know, just, like speculating like weird scenarios if you have like protect on Magyarna and a Pokemon's gonna die to poison you can just like protect it dies to poison and then you like get a special attack boost just like weird things or I mean it probably works for like multiple Pokemon too so saying like a free-for-all if you protect and someone uses like explosion and all the other Pokemon die you get like three boosts if that's how it, that's how Moxie works if you kill three Pokemon, you get three boosts. So, damn, that's kind of broken, especially with the with the uh, with the Steel Fairy typing. Man, they got some scary stuff coming to these games. So let's see. So there's that. Um, <clears throat> also note that the change in the appearance of Solgaleo and Lunala while they do their signature moves as being called Radiant Sun Phase and Full Moon Phase. It says Solgaleo and Lunala are two Pokemon that hold an important key to the story. The forms that these two Pokemon take when they release their mighty power are now revealed as the Radiant Sun Phase and the Full Moon Phase both appear to be shining with a stronger light than in their previously released images. What will these two do when they release their full power? So I don't know what they're talking about, like, if it's a weather-based, like, change, because we already know their abilities, so they clearly don't have an ability that changes their, uh, their form, but it could be a similar scenario, like, um, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I know there's Pokemon that if you use certain moves, it changes their form, so maybe it's like, after you use their signature move, they change form, like that's part of their attack, that it also changes their form, and then they become like stronger or something, because this looks crazy, especially like Sogaleo, it's just like crazy shimmering, like all white body, it's really weird and awesome, by weird I mean awesome, <laughs> um, so that's something to speculate about as well, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, it's a lot of like it's a lot of really cool information but they don't go into huge detail with a lot of things they're releasing like a lot of cool stuff but just like just like the little things they're not really going into a, a lot of stuff just yet also we haven't seen any uh, mega Pokemon just yet I know it's still like pretty early they're still focusing on releasing like new generation Pokemon um, but yeah I guess that'll be it for the video guys uh, comment down below what you think about Sogaleo's um, well, actually, what you think about all the new abilities, like Magyarna's ability and Young Goose's ability, uh, Stakeout and Soul Heart, if you think, like, I think they're getting kind of, like, broken abilities, which is cool. I think it's cool. Um, 
And let me know what you think about Sogaleo and Lunala's like forms, how you think they're gonna change or what's gonna happen with that. I don't think it's like a primal evolution thing because they're making it seem more like a battle effect. Uh, so I don't know, but then like I said, their ability doesn't have anything to do with that, so it's a little weird. Uh, but let me know what you think about that, and uh, let me know what you think, like, what kind of Megas they're going to be releasing. Because um, they ha they have to release more Megas, right? That's just the thing they've established, so they'll probably be doing more of those. Um, so let me know, like, what Pokemon you think uh, will be coming up, and when you think they'll be doing those. If it's going to be in, like, the next one, or just further down the road. Because I'm excited for that as well, to see uh, news of more Megas. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, comment, all that good stuff, subscribe. And until then, I'm New Age Still. Keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.